Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for our Lunch and Learn. Uh, my name is Agustin Sanchez. I'm an assistant at the Adult Learning Center here at the Downtown Library. And uh, I, today I wanted to talk about the Hispanic Heritage Month, which is observed uh, from uh, September 15 to October 15. Uh, specifically, I wanted to show you some of the activities and some of the resources we have uh, for this month. Um, let's take a look at them. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is uh, here in the, in the main page for the library. Uh, remember that the new address is chpl.org. And if you're here at the main page, uh, you can see this menu right here. And I want to go to events. And we're going to go ahead and click on all events. As you can see in the, in the library, we have uh, up to 2,438 events. Okay. Uh, we don't want to see all the events. I want to apply a filter. The way to apply filters is here on the side where it says events. You can do it by limiting the dates that you want to see. Uh, you can either have the location if you want to go to Avondale, Cheviot, mm -hmm. the audience, uh, the event type. But the one I'm interested in today for this, it's the uh, Spanish filter, the language filter for Spanish. And you can see there that it limits to two events. So if we apply this filter, it's going to just limit us to those two events. Mm -hmm. See, there it is, the Spanish filter. And you can see there that uh, uh, there's two events. Uh, the first one is Let's Salsa. That is going to be on Saturday, October 1st. As you can see here, you can add it to your calendar. The time is going to be 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. <clears throat> That's going to be in Forest Park. If you do not know where the Forest Park Library is here on the side, it's going to give you the address. It's going to give you a map if you need it. And it's also going to be, give you some contact information in case you need more info on the event. You can always contact them. And what's going to happen? What's going to be, what is this event going to be about? Here's a description. <clears throat> so it says, enjoy a bilingual history time with author Victor Velez. He's going to be reading his book, You Live Inside. And then there's going to be some uh, salsa dancing instruction demos. Uh, for all of you guys to enjoy it. So if you can make it to this event, it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's that event. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the other event. Uh, the second event we have is on October 10, you know, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in Clifton. And it's called Migrating Words, a bilingual poetry event. Let's read a little bit more about it. Okay. So it's an event about poetry. There's going to be some poets reading their work. There's the contact information if you need more info. There is the address for the Clifton branch. Beautiful building. If you haven't visited that building, uh, this could be a good chance to visit it and listen to some poetry. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the events that we have in uh, for uh, in Spanish. Let's let's take a look, let's take a look at other events that I wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and clear these filters. Okay, so we're back to the normal amount of events and I want to apply a different filter this time and we're going to go to event type and we're going to go to uh, ESOL, English for speakers of, uh, speakers of other languages. So if we click here, it's going to give us this 99 events uh, for this. These are usually ongoing events, weekly events are happening. It's conversation groups. Most of them are virtual. They're online. Mm -hmm. Like this one, for example, it's uh, it happens Tuesday, September 20th. You can add it to your calendar and it's from uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Again, it's an online event. This one says it's required. Uh, registration is required, but you can always click on join, wait, join waiting list, giving your information and they uh, might add you to the to the group. And aside from uh, adding yourself to the waiting list, you can uh, contact Keith. There's his uh, email and phone number. You can contact him and let him know that you're interested in joining the class. That's one of the events. It's virtual. Mm -hmm. And as far as uh, ESOL, I know there's one um, in-person event. Here it is, in-person ESL conversation group. Mm -hmm. Uh, Liz from uh, the Clifton branch uh, is in charge of this event. You can have, there is her contact information, email and phone number. Uh, it doesn't say it requires registration. So uh, my 
my guess is that you can go ahead and uh, just show up for the class but you can always ask Liz if uh, that's if you can show up or you can always just let her know that you that you're coming to the class and again that's in Clifton again a beautiful building here's the address and here are the hours for that uh, place here's the calendar and you can see that, that there's uh, this uh, event is also offered on and it gives you all of the other dates you can see I told you it's gonna be a weekly event uh, so the 29th 6th of October the 13th of October so it just keeps going on okay so that's those are those events for ESOL mm -hmm. so let's go back up here and uh, anywhere on the web page that you are for um, for the library you can always click on the logo here and it'll bring you back to the main page for the library and I want to show you something else here I want to show you what kind of materials they have for us or how to find materials in Spanish or you know what is uh, recommended as uh, of Spanish material so if we go to services and under using the library there's uh, a lot of options but we have an option at the at the bottom that says new Americans if we click on that it's going to take you to this section of the web page which has uh, events that are recommended for people who you know are new to the United States uh, you know are coming from other countries uh, it has like this virtual class uh, for preparation for the citizenship exam that's a pretty good one mm -hmm. uh, some English classes ESOL for everyone so again there's another way you can find events uh, pertaining to uh, you know if you're new to the country uh, and you can also view more events and you can explore by category uh, learn English join I um, mean jobs and careers ask a librarian voting information all of that stuff you, you can find here and if you prefer, you can switch uh, to one of these five languages here. And uh, we have Spanish at the end. We're going to check that out in a moment. But before, I want to show you the, the rest of the New American section. Uh, you can see here they have uh, uh, some blog po posts that you can check out uh, pertaining to this topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a, it has a couple of more here. Mm -hmm. And you can always view more. Uh -huh. It has frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. And it also has a link to uh, a video uh, where the, uh, they do a reading in Spanish. Uh, Oso Pardo, Oso Pardo, que ves ahí. Uh, it's a reading that uh, there's a story reading in Spanish. And you can always go to the Cincinnati and Hamilton Public Library channel on uh, YouTube. You can subscribe to it. As you can see, I'm subscribed. And you can access to a, a lot of other videos, and I'll show you a little bit more on those videos in a moment. But first, I want to check out the website in Spanish. So here, here we are in the Spanish version. It has a button that says "Pregúntele a su bibliotecario," so you can, you know, ask questions to the librarian. Mm -hmm. you, there's another button uh, where you can apply for the library card, mm -hmm. and it has. Uh, it'll take you to the list of the events uh, this seems uh, it has uh, it seems like this com the complete list of events it doesn't have any field to apply to it you can always click on view all events and it will take you to the it will take us to the event page that we had and here we have featured another one of those uh, videos that i was talking to you about story time in uh, spanish and english uh, let's eat a comer uh, another story that they're sharing with us <coughs> And at the bottom of this um, section of the website, we have uh, books for adults here. You know, we have uh, selections of materials that you can check out, that you can uh, that you can stream. Uh, these, for example, are streaming services. Music, you can you know check out uh, CDs, or you can go to the uh, Freegal website, and with your library card, you can access uh, streaming music as well as you can access streaming videos in some of our services that we have we have canopy we have other services where you can stream uh, uh, some of these materials but again you know you can always you know click on this and you get a, a bigger list of what it's being offered you can place an item on hold you can save it for later Mm -hmm. All with your library card. You can, you can, as long as you log in with your library card, you can place an item on hold, and then you can 
pick it up. Some of these items are also uh, ebooks, as you can see here, here on this uh, title, Culpa Compartida. Uh, this one, it's an ebook. Uh, you can download it and read it on your devices. Here's another one. Some of these uh, authors are Latin American or Spanish authors. Some of these are, um, you know, common or or famous works uh, from other languages that are trans, uh, translated into Spanish. So there are some materials that you can uh, look into. And let's go back here. There's also magazines here. Mm -hmm. um, Gato Pardo, I know that's a very uh, famous magazine, cultural magazine in Mexico. Uh, there's movies and TV shows that you can uh, either rent or watch online. Mm -hmm. Again, if you click on it, it'll give you the option of whether you know, hey, you want to check it out from the library or hey, we also have it available uh, online for you to stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are some of the uh, materials that we have available in Spanish. Let's go back to the main library. And I wanted to show you uh, our blog. And the latest blog is something uh, that I uh, that I wrote. It's uh, being silly in Spanish, jokes, jokes, puns, uh, y más. It's an article about. Well, it's it's an article explaining how there's a, a couple of videos uh, that we have uploaded uh, for you guys to watch. It's Spanish jokes, uh, simple dad jokes in Spanish uh, that. Uh, we wanted to share with you. Uh, some of them come with an explanation uh, and some of them come with a translation. Some of them come in a, come in a bilingual form uh, so that, you know, you can, you know, share, uh, you know, be able to understand the joke and uh, learn it. And if you want to go ahead and tell it to your friends, you can do that. The first video is already up. It's this one right here. It, again, it's just general jokes that rely on double meaning of words in Spanish. Uh, you can go to the to the to the channel for the library and you can view it uh, in on YouTube and uh, so there's three videos on jokes and there's one last video that is on what we call in Spanish refranes or dichos mm -hmm. uh, in English it, we will be saying we, they, th this would be sayings it's just common sayings you know that you know give you some wisdom or some advice in certain situations right so just uh, that video explaining the differences between, you know, how you would say it in Spanish, how you would say it in English, uh, the literal trans the literal literal translation of each of them to the other language, and which one would be the corresponding version in English. It's uh, something that I've always found very interesting, and uh, you know, I wanted to share with you. So let me lower the volume on this because I know that when I get here, I'm, you know, we're gonna get the sound of the video so let's click on this okay and you can start watching the video from here and as always you can go ahead and click here mm -hmm. and we can go to the it, this one takes us directly to the youtube channel for the library here it is and another way to do it you can always just click just go to youtube mm -hmm. look for cincinnati library there it is. I've looked for it before. So we look for it, you know, and it'll give you here already some videos. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see uh, Ms. Bridget. Uh, she has done a couple of, uh, uh, of videos in uh, bilingual form. I'm hungry, tengo hambre. So she reads this book uh, that is both in English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, check some other ones. Uh, there's also... Uh, Cloud, who also reads uh, a book in Spanish, it's called A veces yo soy todo lo que necesito. Sometimes I am everything I need. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another one of my videos. It's uh, The Desert is My Mother. Uh, it's more of a poem than a story, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's, I, it's, uh, it's, it's a poem that I uh, really enjoy reading for you guys, and I, and I hope you enjoy it as well. And I hope you enjoyed any other videos. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy all, all of these videos. Mm -hmm. We also have this other one, mm -hmm. and it's uh, 
it's about Frida Kahlo and her animalitos. It talks about Frida Kahlo and all of the animals she had in her house, which is called the Blue House in uh, Coyoacan, uh, Mexico City. Mm -hmm. And let's let's look at more story time at home. That those would be the 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 stories for children that we usually read. Again, you know, we have uh, Miss Bridget reading uh, some here. I know she has another one about paletas. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, you can just browse here if you want. Uh, there's another one of mine. I drive a bulldozer. It's also a bilingual one. Mm -hmm. And you can always go back to the channel. And you can always do a search for Spanish. Mm -hmm. And it will give you more options for the videos there. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's more story times in English and Spanish. And something interesting here, for example, is that we even have some players from, let me see, see, we have uh, Greg Garza from FCC, you know, reading a book for us. This was during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So again, you have uh, all of us here, the library creating this content for you. And we have uh, people who are guests that, you know, help us uh, work on this material for you. So. Uh, visit the website again the website again is going to be chpl.org look through the material browse through it there's a lot even there's a lot more options that I than what I have shown you today uh, visit it and uh, enjoy and visit us uh, in person at the library and that's all the materials I wanted to show you for today Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, activities happening this uh, Heritage Month. I hope you're able to join us for some of those activities and you're able to visit the, the website and look at some of those resources. Uh, I hope this was helpful to all of you. Thank you.